Hello everyone, my name is Cody and today we are doing this Winter Wonderland makeup look. Let's get into it. To start off the face, I'm going to be using the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I'm just going to apply it all over my face. I'm going to pat it in to make sure my skin is really absorbing it. So the one con about this is that it doesn't fill in my pores. I've yet to find a really good pore filling primer. I am using natural light. Now I'm in front of like a really big window, so I'm using natural light um, because natural light is the best light. So I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Matte Filter Foundation. This is to shake it well before applying. I'm in the shade 300. I'm going to take one pump first. I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. Now I do have a few pimples here, here, and here, but I don't really do anything to cover it up just because you'll still be able to see it regardless, so there's no point in trying to cover it up. For those of you who have this foundation, you probably heard that it does dry down fast so you have to work fast with this that's why i'm only doing one side of my face at a time i really like using this foundation but i don't like using it often because foundation is expensive i mean it's like what 40 dollars i think that's expensive that's a lot of money so i usually put another layer of foundation but i'm only gonna put on one I don't know, just because I feel like only putting on one. So for concealer, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape in shade like medium. This is the only concealer that I use. I haven't tried another concealer in like, I don't even know when I got this. I got this last year. I actually got this last January. Not last January. This January in 2017, I got this. And then I'm also going to conceal my smile line. So I'm not pulling it all the way back, I'm going to keep it towards the inner corner and I'm going to stop right here on the outer corner of my eye. This way my eyes will appear to be more open. I'm going to blend out the rest of the concealer. So after I conceal, I'm going to be taking the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in Original. I'm going to be taking that on my Morphe sponge again. I'm going to be taking the flat side and using that. I actually like this sponge better than Beauty Blender just because of these two flat sides right here. It makes it easier to bake. I'm also going to bake my nose because this is where I get really oily. While this is baking, I'm going to do my brows, and usually I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown, but today I thought I would try the BH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. And this is what the packaging looks like, this is what the inside looks like. So the bottom four are all pomades, and then these eight are all powders. So I'm going to be dipping into this shade right here on Anastasia the writing came off of this I think this is a number 7 brush I've only used this brow product once to do my Halloween makeup but I did the black shade but this brow palette is actually really inexpensive and if you're a beginner and you're trying to find your brow shade then this is actually really good because then you can just test out all these shades so this color came out to be a lot more pigmented than I originally thought. I thought I was really gonna have to finesse the product in, but it applied really well. I was gonna do the other bit off camera and I'll be back. Just oh, fuck. Yes. The number one animated comedy. So I finished doing my brows off camera and now I'm going to be priming my eyelids. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre by MAC Cosmetics. I'm gonna carve out the bottom part of my eyebrow using a Morphe M410. I'm just gonna 
put some on the brush and I'm gonna begin carving it out. And then after applying it with the Morphe brush, I'm going to be going in with the Sigma Precision Flat Angled P80 airbrush and I'm going to use that to blend this out. And you have to make sure you blend this out because if you don't, your eyeshadow will crease. When I first used this, I thought you did not have to blend it out. And then throughout the day, I realized that my eyeshadow began to crease and it was not a cute look. So after priming my lids, I'm going to be going in with the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. This is how the packaging looks like. So I have yet to use this. I thought this would be a lot smaller when I ordered it online, but it's actually very big. It's like the size, it's the size of my face. And this is what the palette looks like. And I'm gonna be going for a blue winter wonderland look today. So I'm going to be taking the Morphe E27 brush and I'm going to be going in the shade Nana right here and I'm going to be setting that all over my eyelid. So when I do my eyeshadow, I like to bring it all the way up to the brows just so that my eyes can appear a little bit bigger than they really are. I'm using Nana because it is a warm brown and the blue I'm going to be applying on later is very cool toned. So this is just to balance it out. I realized that my brush does have tape on it because it's starting to break and I was not going to buy another one because money does not grow on trees. I'm going to go in with my Morphe G24 brush and I'm going to be taking Zakia right here. I'm going to use this to go over Nana. I'm gonna apply that all over my crease. I bring the eyeshadow above my natural crease to make my eyes look bigger. Next on a Morphe MG13 brush, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, but it's spelled Y-E-J-I-D-E. -E. I'm gonna use this color to go into my outer and my inner corner. I'm going to take what's left over on my brush and I'm going to start connecting the outer and inner corner together. I'm going to be taking this Eco Tools double ended brush. I'm going to be dipping into, I don't know if this is how you say it, into Ife. I'm going to be using this end right here. So I'm going to be dipping into this shade right here, putting it on the very outer corner and inner corner of my eyes. And using the other side of the brush, I'm going to blend that in. So to create the halo eye, I'm going to be taking my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro brush in the number 7. And I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and loading that on. I'm going to be taking my MAC Fix Plus on a Sigma Shader Lid E56 brush. I'm going to spray that on. I'm just going to be taking this icy blue shade right here and apply that all over the concealer. I'm going to be going back into that same blending E36 brush and blend out this shimmer shade. I'll be taking this shade Nubia right here on a Sigma shader inner corner E46 brush. Apply that to the inner corner to make my eyes open more. Hey, 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 
and it's a very yellow gold shade. And I'm also going to use that to highlight my brow bone. Then I'm just going to be doing what I did on this eye and doing the same thing on the other eye off camera and I'll be back. So I did the other eye and I popped on some lashes, the Dodo lashes in D313. And this is how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. Milano White off the bakage with the of foundation blurring brush. Oh my god, my chin left off already. Hmm. I'm just gonna wipe this off. And then I'm gonna be going in with the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Foundation Powder in the shade Neutral Camel. I'm gonna be taking NYX eyeliner in white and run that all over my waterline. And I'm gonna take the Better Than Sex mascara and apply that all over my lower lashes. To bronze my face, I'm gonna be using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit on a Morphe M527 brush. For blush, I'm gonna be taking the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette using a e.l.f. contour brush. Take a little shape here. I'm applying that all over my cheeks. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use a Sigma Smudge brush on the E21. I'm gonna be taking Zakia and running that all over my lower lash line. For highlight, I'm going to be taking my Becca Champagne Pop on a R31 brush. For lip liner, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in Nude. For a lipstick, I'm going in with the ColourPop's Calypso. And the last set is setting spray and I'm gonna be using the Morphe Continuous Setting List. And this is the final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, comment down below what you guys would like to see next, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching!